hey all you cool painters and upcyclers and I don't know, I'm feeling goofy. Hey, this is Tammy with Flippin' Furniture. We are going to make this window pretty again today, I think, I hope. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of, it's, it's one of those projects that's harder to get in view, so we're just going to work on it, do the best we can, a section at a time. Um, <clears throat> if you don't see that red live button up at the top, you're catching a replay. I would love it if you would still say hashtag replay, so I know you were here. Facebook likes that. They like to know you were here. Um, it helps me in my Facebook algorithms, apparently, supposedly, so they say. Um, if you would like this video, I would appreciate it. Um, give me a heart, give me a like, give me a share, comment, whatever you are so inclined to do. I would super appreciate it. Oh, I meant to get the iPad ready. But if you can do any of those things, I would really appreciate it. Um, and I think we'll get started. What I have done for prep so far is cleaned it up because it was gross. But my guys brought this to me. It's kind of a lovely little, very pale. Hey, Rayanne. I don't know if it shows up. It's a very, very, very pale green, but I wanted to keep that color. <clears throat> Good morning, Lori Garcia. So, um, cleaned it up, obviously. I just cleaned it with, you know, Dawn and water in the sink. And scrubbed, 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 and then um, sanded it. So it's got some sanding, distressing, but I tried to keep as much color as I could. Hey, Dawn. And then, yeah, I think that's where we're at. And then, of course, I've cleaned the windows as much as I could. And then I got it in here to my studio, and there was still a bunch of gunk in the corners. So, yeah, I just got out. I, I Yeah, a lot of cleaning on this one. It was really, really dirty gross. So whether it was mud or something else, it was really dirty. So, okay, good morning, Lisa. Hey, Amy. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Andrea. I think it's cute too. They just, they've been bringing me some good junk lately. I don't know where they're coming up with it, but I'm not questioning it. So let's get started. I think we're just going to do some florals in this. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Celine. Okay. You're cheating on work to watch. I won't tell. I'll never tell. Hey, Terry. I'll see. Two weeks from today. Oh my gosh. We have a um, retreat at my house two weeks from today. Yikes. Two weeks, and nobody's posted that in our chat yet today. I might be the first, unless you guys beat me to it, but I, who, who, yeah, I won't get to it. Hey, Martha. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, this is a really pale green, and it's got some hardware on the top. I'm not going to pick it up again right now, but I've been dying to use this. I haven't even measured. I haven't looked to see if it'll fit. I have two different um, transfers here that we used on that really pretty um, French eggshell blue and salt wash um, hutch, skinny, tall skinny hutch we did a while back. These are leftovers. We had those two transfers we did. We used, um, I told Courtney I can't remember the name, so she'll pop in the links for them. But, uh, Courtney, do you remember a walk in the af an afternoon? I don't remember. One's a full size tube. One is a, a maxi. She'll remember and pop them in and then I'll see them and it'll remind me. But I almost went with this one because this one would be really gorgeous too. But I didn't want to have to open a whole other transfer. But oh my gosh, that one would be gorgeous too. Mm, mm, mm. But put that one away, Tammy. Focus. We're going to use up some of the other ones that I've had sitting here that I've been wanting to use. I thought I might have more of it laying around, but hopefully we've got enough sitting here. We're just going to put a lot of florals in here and see what happens. I think it's going to be really pretty. We might add some script to it, but I don't, I don't think so. But it's there in case we need it. We've got this beautiful white one that I would love to use on here also. Ooh, and I never thought, sometimes I like to paint the back. I like to paint, you know, paint it so that our flowers pop. <clears throat> I did not paint the back of this. Hmm. 
I may paint it later, I don't know. And I may not. And a lot depends on what the customer's wall looks like. You know, if we don't paint it, then, you know, their wall color is going to pop through. And, you know, that's totally fine, too. So, let's cut out the flowers and see what we've got to lay out, what's going to fit, what's going to work, hopefully. Okay. Now, obviously, these are kind of tall. Mm. But this one fits perfect. Both of these do, actually, height-wise. Man, it's gonna not going to take a whole lot of flowers to fit in here, is it? Okay. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Jeannie. Okay, I'm going to start cutting them out of there so we can kind of get a good idea what's going to work. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I like these bees with them. I think they're too bright. I think I'd rather go with more of a neutral butterfly. And I love bees, but I just don't feel like these go with it. I feel like I've got something more neutral that would go better. But we'll see. Okay. That one could potentially go there. And we would want something short or tall and skinny there. Or something short and a butterfly at the top. Is what I'm thinking anyway. Like this butterfly is very neutral. It could go there. If it's not too big. We'll just lay it there. It might be kind of big for that area. Ooh, and we could cut this one out. These could be coming off the side. Not really though, because it's going to go into this flower, which doesn't make sense there. So, uh, this one could come off of this side. Okay, let's go over to this side. I like what this one is. You're hiding under the hat today. Yes, I am. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> yep, I didn't want to. Yeah, I just threw it up in a ponytail and like screw it. Did not want to mess with it at all. Not that I do anything great with it any other day, but I was like, it feels like a hat day. I haven't worn a hat in a long time. So, I guess when I, I saw myself in a hat the other day, I'm like, yeah, I haven't worn a hat in a long time. And they bug me to death, but I'm going to cut this flush along here so we can have it flat to go up against our... Our window. I still don't think I cut that very straight. And we're going to have to cut it down. Boy, that's a lot of... Boy, I hate to... Does this meet up with it? Not really. Oh, shoot. That would, actually. Well, daggone it. That would almost... Hmm. But if I make that all work, then that has to work, too. Well, it does. Let's just do that. I was going to piece it all in, so it looks like we're using that tube. Let's try to do that. I was going to piece it in here and there, but let's see if I can make that work. Okay, was this the right side of it? Okay, that goes with that. Okay. I'm going to make sure I get the prettiest parts of it that I like the most. Let me start with this middle one because I really want these flowers together. It might be more of the tops of them. And I love that big flower. <laughs> I just keep scooching it down. I want the butterfly and that cone flower. Okay. We're going to try to do this here. Sorry, you're seeing all my thinkings here. Shoot. 
some paper. Oh, my paintbrush is in here in my way. Okay, I have my craft knife. I found it last night, but I must not have put it over here away yet. I got it, and I had a um, razor blade I was using last night too, but oh well. I'll just keep winging it. So let me cut well. Good morning, Pamela. We're gonna guesstimate a share. That's you know always a good thing for me to do. I'm gonna cut there-ish and see what happens. against my window flush. Gish. Sorry guys, this has to be painful to watch. Okay. And if I have gaps in my flowers over there, which I don't yet, I can piece other things in. Oh, can you hear him? Huh. Yeah, we do have the back door open. Yeah, and I had a really cute video of my girls yesterday. We went for a walk after our live yesterday. They were just having a ball running through the, I won't call it a creek, but just a ravine. Splashing through the water. Having such a good time. I realized I never hit record. but They were just living their best lives out there. Making a muddy mess. They were having fun. Just love watching them have fun. Oh, sorry, my head's in the way. And I do need to come back, see that glass is loose, loose. And I meant to bring in some wood to put underneath here to make it uh, have some support underneath there so I'm not just pressing and pressing on it when it's already weak. Hi. Oh, jeez, she scared me. I heard my son come in the back door. It's not his real voice, in case you're wondering. Uh, I didn't know you are on live. Yes, I am on live. You're welcome. Now they get to see what you were talking about the other day, about how you're so jumpy. Oh. <laughs> Ethan got me good the other night in class. Uh, I was just in my own mind. We were, everybody was kind of quiet, and he said something all of a sudden, and I kind of jumped. <laughs> and Shelly's like, I even jumped. <laughs> Bye. Bye. pretty because it's got some greens in it already that I'm hoping will go with this pale green and I will wax this I think and hopefully bring that hopefully bring that green a little bit of life I hope it'll bring it something back okay so that's not terrible I can cut a sliver of this to fit on there if I think it's bad, 
or we can do some edging with paint around the outside edges to fill it in. And that's probably <coughs> what I'll do actually. Because like I said, I'm going to have to put some caulking around the outside edge from the other side. Or I'll end up painting all around the back side yet. I don't know yet. So let me see if you guys are saying anything. Sorry, I'm ignoring you. Oh my gosh, let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've missed a lot. Um, um, um. You wear a hat every day. Hey, Shan Shan. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Christina. Okay, I think I said hi to Pamela earlier. Hey, John. I am live. The birds are yes. Good morning. This is great. You have a couple of windows. Yeah, and this one is so hard for me to do because it's so cool. It's so awesome. And I tend to hoard things that are so cool and awesome for the perfect project. So I'm really kind of proud of myself. I've only had this one for like, well, right before I went to Mastermind. So I've not had it very long at all. I'm just doing it. I got to quit hoarding these things for someday because I may not be here for someday. You know, why not? Let's just do it. There, there's, I, I have so much stuff. So I got to quit saving it. It's like, you know, I'm to the point, I have so much that it's like, what are you hoarding all this for? You got multiples of everything at this point. Just do it. So, and I didn't get through all the comments yet. Just apply it to, okay. This is not reverse decoupage. This is a transfer right on the top of the glass. If I want to use... This old metal side table to turn into a patriotic project. Do I need something special to paint on the metal first? Um, fusion is, uh, you can paint metal with fusion paint. Um, so, no. I mean, if, you're real, if it's really slick, you could use some ultra grip first, but I would just scuff it a little bit with sandpaper. And you should be good to go. I mean, that's always my extra insurance is just to scuff it a little bit with some sandpaper. I was trying to reach through there. I forget that's glass. I tried to shove something through it earlier. I can't believe it didn't break it. Okay, so there's our first pane. Are you doing... Okay, I see... Yes, just a, just a transfer on the top. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, other Sandy. I don't know why you keep breaking up. Did you see my question? Oh, did I answer it now, John? Yeah, I just, I hadn't looked up for a long time. Hold on to thanks for later, yes. No, you can't really seal. Oh, oh, okay. It's, okay, let me rephrase this. Let me look at this again, John. It's old and rusty in places. Then I would take a sander. I would, if it were me, if it were mine, I would clean it up, see how rusty it is. Then I would take a sander and sand off anything really rusty. Get off anything loose. Get it smooth. Clean it up again. And then seal it, probably. Well, no. Then I would paint it. Yeah. Get it good and smooth. Cleaned up anything removed that is going to be bothersome. Uh, get anything loose, you know, and then paint it because that's going to be rough enough. It's going to take paint. You know what I mean? It's not going to be smooth. I'm sure it's not going to be slick. Okay. I keep saying I'm going to do my window. I got from Justin's need to fix the foot shelf first. Yep. Hey, Kelly, you're going to try to win this challenge, John. <laughs> okay. So where are we at here? First timer's luck, hopefully. You never know. May the odds be over with you. Okay, so let's move on to the second part of it here. We've got to try to line this up. Looks like we'll have a perfect spot for a butterfly up there. We're going to have to whack that one in half. I just love my terminology. I'm so sorry. I'm such... We'll cut this one in half today. Sorry, I'm not a, uh, mm, what do I want to say? I'm country bumpkin, folks. I don't speak perfect grammar. I am who I am. Yeah, I guess I 
could try to speak better. What's the fun in that? Okay. I'm going to trim that down a little more so it fits there better. Plus, if we had kept all that gap in there, and if you notice, I did trim more excess off here on that first one than just straightening it up because if we left all that extra on there, that flower would be so much wider because we've got all this in there spreading it out even more. So I hope that makes sense that, you know, and you could measure, you could straight line this, you know, with, a ruler or a stick you could draw it out and make yours way more perfect than mine but you know for the sake of time yeah we'll call it that for the sake of time I'm not gonna do that there that looks pretty good going to kind of finger score that for me to have a idea where to cut. And you could do so many things with a window like this. Like I said, that's where it gets hard for me to do some of these projects because like, oh, but I could do this instead of and I could put our names, I could put our pictures, you could put like eight and a half by 11 photos in here, or you could, you know, probably be bigger photos than that. You probably need like, I don't know, what, what's the next size, 11 by 14, but you probably have to trim them down, or eight and a half by 11s with a mat behind them, and, or you could stencil in there, you know, so many things you could do with these. You could decoupage in them. I mean, the ideas are endless, but again, I have so many windows. None like this, I don't think, though. So, there again, that's what makes it so difficult sometimes for me to start on something because what if I never ever get another window like this? Wouldn't be the end of the world, but sometimes I feel like it. There's so many old windows, one with the 12 panes. Oh my. Oh, John, you have them with 12 panes? Cool. I've never done a big window, really, with... I mean, I've done a big window, but it probably did. I always used to do photographs in it. Okay, i got to concentrate. Put Yammer in for a minute. Because... Transfers love a slick surface. <clears throat> so once you get it started on glass, there ain't no going back. You you gotta commit. Look at me, I'm shaking. It's really here, she'd be holding her breath. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's committed now. Right or wrong, she's on there. Glass and mirrors. Oh, and I'm sorry, somebody asked about sealing this. No, <clears throat> you can't really seal, and I'll, I'll explain. I have sealed on a mirror before. They don't recommend it, you're not really supposed to, because if you try to put a sealer on here, it's gonna look all smeary, it's gonna look all blurry, it's not the look you want, typically. So no, you don't seal on it. Um, so if you were gonna put this in a store to sell, it would be nice if you had a little tag on it that said, um, to clean dry rag only, you know, or Swiffer only, you know, no harsh chemicals or, you know, anything like that, but you know, just dry dust only. Um, but like I said, I did seal my mirror one time because, it's kind of a long story, but stupid me, I had cleaned my mirror, I think we finally troubleshooted and figured out what I had done, pretty sure I had cleaned my mirror with a baby wipe, which, you know, baby wipes have a little bit of aloe, which make them a little greasy, transfers do not like an oily surface, we end up 
not so lovingly calling that the mirror from hell. We did that in my private group, oh gosh, at least a year ago. <clears throat> I like to never got the thing on there, and I just kept saying, this is not right. This does not make sense because transfers love mirrors and glass. I finally got it on there. I was like, I don't feel good about this. So I was like, I'm going to seal this. And I did. And it was okay because it had like a transfer like all over it. I mean, it had script. It, it had a lot of stuff on it. And it was kind of a cool effect. But it, it wouldn't be something you would want on this. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, I feel like that mirror was like a once in a lifetime that that smeary look would work for, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I, would, I wouldn't, uh, like I said, the only, the only reason I sealed it was because... I, I just, you know, had a booger of a time getting it on there. But I hope that makes sense, you guys. <clears throat> oh, hey, Daggy, this is what you needed today? Oh, I'm so glad. Where would I find info regarding future retreats? Celine, I don't um, put those on until, <laughs> until the current one is over. It's usually like the week usually the week after um, the current one gets done I always say this I would love to go ahead and schedule them all out and there was quite a wait list for this one um, I mean I don't schedule the next one until the current one's over I just always say like if something happened and I got completely burnt out and said no more ever but I already had them scheduled and had to tell people, mm, sorry, I can't do it anymore. I'd hate to do that. So I don't schedule them until, until I get through the current one. <clears throat> they're just a lot of work. I enjoy them to the hilt. But, you know, they're at my house. <laughs> so I do have to, you know, get my house ready. And, you know, get all the food ready and the projects ready. And um, get the van rented and, you know... Um, schedule to go picking and all that fun stuff so and it you know I, I yeah my business takes a little bit of a hit because I'm not yeah it, it's just a lot so I just I always want to make sure I make it through the current one before I schedule another one so in the private group I do post it and I think I need to do better at it which I do the at everyone inside our private group but even that, I don't think people always see it. I don't understand. That's supposed to be the be-all, end-all. That's how you're supposed to see everything in our group. But that's, yeah, I, I do post that the following week. So let me see what you guys are saying before I go on here. Friendly idea. I like to apply the transfer to rice paper and then to posh. Let me see all that. I like to apply the transfer to rice paper and then decoupage to back of window. Find it easier to clean and sun still reflects beautifully through. Okay. Okay. These transfers are so vibrant. Okay, good to know about not sealing. You are welcome. So yeah, that would be a totally different look, Je Je Jenny. Yep, that would be a totally different way to go. Yeah, because I was talking about just painting the background for these to pop. So and it would depend, yeah, I mean, that would be a totally cool way to go. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, I would just want to be careful that I, I didn't compete too much, and that's totally doable um, with your... Uh, Um, to make sure your background pattern didn't commit, commit too much with your transfer. And I'm sure you're doing that. I'm sure you know what you're doing. And some people like it. Some people like busy, busy. Okay, again, okay, this is what I was saying earlier. If we do not trim down more on this flower, look how wide that looks now, which is not terrible. Some people might not even notice that. But that flower was meant to look more like that, which you can't really tell. So I am going to trim off more of this to make it not look so elongated. But I'll 
also don't want to cut off that V leg. I should have cut off more of that side or a little bit off each actually. But I get busy yammering. I'm not always paying attention. Oh, cute little leaf there. I'll have to keep him for something. But yes, that would be a fun idea. We should try that sometime with the decoupage. Decoupage first, and then put your transfer on, and then put it all together. If I read that, I'd have to reread that lately. Er, lately. Again, when I'm not trying to <laughs> absorb and read. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this off and do it separate. Because I cut it so wonky. Because I think that really still looks fat. Okay, I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to cut off the top too so it fits up there a little easier. Oh, Courtney, did you put in the link? What is this one? Is it an afternoon in the garden or we'll have to have Courtney tell us. I cannot remember. Actually, I got to cut more off the top. I put it in again. Okay, she said she does put it in again. Because this was not the one I thought I was going to use. I thought I was going to use the maxi one that's real similar. An afternoon in the garden. Yes, that's what it is. It's a tube one. Okay, I still got to cut some more off. Sorry, this is how I measure trial and error. Anyone else? Please tell me I'm not alone. And I definitely need to come back with my, I don't think I hit my polishing pad over all these very well yet. Okay. And okay, that's not terrible. I've been putting in the wrong one. It's all the flowers. Oh, shoot. Courtney says she put in the wrong one, you guys. So I just go in and take out the... Okay. And put in the right one. Okay. They look really... Yeah, they look really... They do look very similar. You're not going to go wrong with either one, but if you're wanting this one, this one is what? All the flowers? All the flowers. This one is all the flowers. This one is the tube, the full-sized one. The other one is a maxi, which is three sheets. So she is fixing that. Yes, that would be great, Jenny. I would love to see your examples. That would be awesome. Because I'm picturing some things in my head, and I might not be picturing correctly. love to see them. I got plenty of more windows to do. Someday. The worst part about windows is the prep. I absolutely, I don't know, but I've been on a prep kick. I did a lot of prep yesterday, but that's the thing. I got to be in the mood. I prepped a lot of crap yesterday. A lot, a lot of crap. Okay, where is my last sheet? Please tell me I did not lose it anywhere. Okay, I think that went over there. You've done a window using decoupage and then put transfers on it. And I want to say Jenny was saying she did it from behind or did it all and then put it on the back. But I could have, like I said, I get I get befuddled or confused or confuddled or something when I try to read and do all this when it's more than like a quick sentence. So <laughs> please forgive me. Okay, where is the third sheet? Hmm. Or I could just, but it wouldn't make sense to just start slapping them on now so much because these all flow. So 
Girlfriend, where did the last sheet go? That's not it. And my fan's on, so it could have blown away. It could have fallen over the back of the desk. You want to come help your mama see something that's right in front of her, probably? I believe how long it took us to find the beeswax sticks we had to put in an order this morning. Oh, and guess whose fault it was? It's always mine. Is this it? No. It should be a pretty decent sized roll. I mean, it's like the third part of a roll. I am so sorry, you guys. If nothing else, I'll just make that other flower work, but there it is. Thank you. Well, well, is that it? Hmm. I don't think that's it, but, but yes, it has to be. But that doesn't line up. I'm thinking I did do it wrong, but well, maybe that is the corner of that. Okay, that must be. Okay. All right, I think we're still okay. Sorry, minor, minor stroke. It's all right. Hey, hey, Margaret. Jeannie rarely measures, too. Most of the time it works. I feel you. Most of the time. And, you know, I also feel like when it doesn't, that's when we get even more creative, right? At least for me that's when I figure out otherwise oh, and I love that flower I hate oh let me move this over I strongly detest <laughs> that we're gonna lose that flower for this because I love 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 that flower but we'll we'll cut the head off I'll use it for something else yes I will okay so that's gonna overlap and I love this one too but I have another one of it somewhere else so, I'm just talking myself through this. Do you seal the rice paper? Oh, I bet that's the question for Jenny. Do you seal the rice paper first so the transfers will stick? I would say yes. Seal it and let them dry well. Because I have done that on a live before and did not let them dry very well for the sake of time. And it started pulling up. So we'll let Jenny answer that, but that would be my two cents. Okay, let's start cutting that over. Ugh. Oh, that hurts to cut that. And I'm not one that really minds too much cutting them, but this one does hurt. Okay. That hurts a lot. All right, let's go ahead and... I'll have to finagle this. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and get this cut off so I can. That will help me a lot in the lining up here. I am actually um, going to cut it with the curves and everything of this one. I've never tried to line one of these up like this before. I'm more of a rebel and usually just cut them all up willy-nilly, but uh, let's try to do it right this time. Like I said, I've never really tried to make them match up. First time for everything, huh? Okay, and I bet we don't need this flower. So where's that going to end? take some finagling to figure that out, but basically under that, I'm just going to do it, no matter how painful that was, okay. Okay. Oh, crap, I got, <laughs> that landed on the floor. Okay, am I still in view here? 
Let's see what I'm... I'm okay. I'm on the right, right pane here. Do I have anything large gold letters? We have something called powerful words. So it has words. I mean, they're not huge. Sorry. <laughs> they're not huge letters. But, I mean, they say, like, blessed and... You know, they're not huge. They're only on a 6 by 12 They're like three different sheets, and there's some different words in there. So I don't know if that's what you want or if you're wanting a stencil, that you could stencil your own words. Hello, Lori Cochran. <clears throat> you're now really planning your patriotic project with this multi-layered metal table and ordering more stuff. <laughs> Happy to oblige, John. This is next to your desk and needs a total makeover. It's so cute. Something out of the 50s, probably. Cool. Rice paper has a slicker side and a rubber transfer directions to paper. I have also used regular tissue paper, but I did top coat the regular tissue paper. See, I think tissue paper or uh, rice paper is more porous. Not porous, but I don't know. A little slick, but I don't know. Love this transfer in your cart now. Wanting to put USA or America across the shelves on top of the decoupage paper. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, and that beautiful veteran transfer. We're out of it now, but I've got more coming in Monday in case anybody, yeah, is mad at me. Yeah, we ran out yesterday. But like I said, it, it's been ordered, so it's I should have at least 12 more Monday. Okay, just thought I'd throw that out there, sidebar. Okay. Okay, let's try to cut a sliver off the bottom, maybe a sliver off the top. Again, this is my... My poor measuring skills. Okay, I need about that much off the bottom. can have it wrap up around your side a little bit but if it sticks on there it, it's a booger to get off if you can get it off okay we're definitely short enough now Courtney, I told her this wouldn't take very long. What was I always think it won't take long? We're just gonna slap some flowers on, right? And we're gonna try to get on a quick walk before lunch. We'll see if that happens. Okay. check and make sure we're still in camera here. So yeah, this one is a bit of finagling to measure everything or make everything line up. It would probably be a lot easier to just put them, you know, get one that isn't already, you know, that you got to line up and not probably it is a lot easier. But this is what my heart wanted to do today, so. And again, be ready to commit, because, yeah, I think I'm already committed at the bottom. Mm, you can try to take it up. But, yep, nope, I'm already committed, so. When 
find my craft knife, I will probably cut that corner out. I'm not going to push it down now. I'm going to try to get it cut out before. Um, so I don't get that stuck on there. And if I do, I could probably paint over it, but that's where I've always got a uh, craft knife close to me, or razor blade, but for crafting, nothing else. Like I said, I had one out here last night for something. window pane might be, you know, dry enough that it might not stick super easy, but, but it might too, and I'd rather not fight that later. Say anything I can respond to while I keep going here. Uh, I wish it would stay like this too, Patricia. It was beautiful yesterday when we were walking through the timber. It was so cool in the timber. But it's getting, the weeds are getting too tall. I think we're about done walking in the timber until the cows get out there and get it ate down. But And I found a tick in my belly button last night in the shower, so yeah. Okay. Crazy six, hey Sarah, six alarm fire, oh no, people are trapped, yikes, beautiful in southern Idaho, coffee on the patio, I wish I, I wish I drank coffee so I could sit on a patio, <laughs> who am I kidding, I wouldn't do it anyway probably, oh I gotta be careful because that's already done over here, I'm gonna end up scratching that. Did you rub wax or some of the areas you didn't want to stick to? Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. Of, of the picture frame, or the window frame, I think that would be a good idea. Because I actually am going to wax it anyway. And I thought about doing it first, but I didn't get it done. What time is it? 10.30. So I'm just, just calculating the time to see if there's time to get a, get a walk in before lunch. See, sorry, my squirrel brain is all over the place. Always. Oh, and you know I was playing with the wreath. Hot glue gun burns everywhere on my feet because I had flip-flops on. Oh my gosh. I mean, I get hot glue burns all the time anyway, but it was way worse doing a wreath, so. I'm a mess. But I think I'm done. I put it on the front door last night. Like, I'm over this. Good enough. try to sell this one. I'll let you know if it sells or not. I don't know if I've tried to sell a window in a long time. I can't remember. I haven't done one in so long. Anybody have any luck selling windows? Yeah, I just dropped it right on here and I wiped it off and the skin went with it. I don't know that I have the scabs on my feet, but freaking hurt. Okay. So. Looks like we do have room for a little butterfly or maybe two up there. If I know where they're at. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. There's a little one. 
could put him up there. Or actually, that one's cut off enough it would fit right there. Let's use him. He's already cut anyway. And he goes perfect. Carla has sold three or four windows. Yeah, and I don't know what to price this at. I have no idea. I mean, obviously I've got a, well, I don't have a whole transfer on here, but most of it. But I do think I took part of this out for my, didn't we use part of this for the, uh, I don't know, maybe we used more of the other one for the blue hutch. Oh, there's that little green one that I wanted to use. Okay, good deal. That one on there too, and I think that'll fill that in enough. I don't love this one. Oh, can you even see which paint I'm working on? So one window, but that's all you've done. So yeah, I don't know if this will be in the $30 price. It should probably be more, because this is really a unique window, I think. And look how long it's taken. Which, you know, partially, because I'm yakking along the way, and and partially because we're trying to match it up it could have went a lot faster I think the other way if I had just you know put pieces in instead of you know trying to match it up think I'll put anything on the back. I do still have to um, put some caulking on the back. I have some caulking, but I have gotten caulking before that was clear in a tube with a lid on it that you could reuse, and I want to get that again instead of having the kind that you have to put a, you know, screw in the end and save it for later, and then it dries out. So if I can find mine that I had open in here, I'll reuse that. Otherwise, I have to pick up some. And I cannot remember what it was called. And maybe I used it all, but, but I would like to use that again. Okay. And then I think I'll wax the window frame. And you could just seal it too. Either way. I don't know why I feel like waxing today because I'm not a big wax fan. And I'll come back later and make sure I've got that all buffed down. But And if I find another small bee that I think matches good or a smaller butterfly or bottom of a butterfly that would... Here, that, that one will work. Oh, shoot, but he's cut off. So if I find another one that fits on there, heck, I'll just use the bottom of this one. I don't think it needs to be the whole thing. I don't love this one as much, so it doesn't bother me to cut this one. I felt like that was a little open there. Taking Christina and Lori to an awesome, in the middle of nowhere, traders are awesome! When is that? I'm jelly. That's awesome. Windows are hard to find in your area. Linda, I have a bunch. <laughs> Which I have people coming to me with. I've, I have turned down windows. 30 is not enough. You have that much in your transfer. Very true. 50 to 65. I don't. Yeah. You won't get that in my area. We're so rural here. I don't I don't think that would fly here for price, but I don't know. 
But very true. Do you put hangers on the windows? Um, yeah, I do try to put something, whether it's D-rings, usually. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of wax on real quick. Thank you, Celine. I'll hold it up here in a little bit. Father's Day, Dawn is going to be your pack meal. Oh, fun! Patricia, scroll back. Well, if you sell it, I want it. I'll pay you and have you send it home with Christina. Oh! Okay, okay. Hey, Royce. I sent you an email earlier. I don't know if you saw it. Girl, you are crazy. I tell husband he gets points if he brings me home windows. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty... I'm very excited about this window. I, I probably need to let him know exactly how excited I am. You're right. Yes, yes. I Yeah. And this actually re really shows him how excited I am because I'm getting right to it. I've got a project to do for Brendan, actually, too, on a barn door. Um, I got the wax out. I swear I did. But, yeah, for me to get right on it. Where is the wax? I guess I can get a different wax. There it is. <laughs> Patricia says hi to Royce, too. I'm sure Royce can read, but just thought I'd reiterate. If she hasn't dipped already. Okay. The spring cleaning. Oh, really? We've just been talking a lot about that. About the windows and, uh, or about hoarding, basically. About, um, I'm using it. I'm just, I'm, I'm hoarding all this stuff for, saving it for what? I don't know. I just keep thinking, I don't know. It's so cool. I want to save it for something special. And I just can't. I don't know. I'm, I'm just using it. I just keep thinking i got to save it for something special. I'm like, nope, I'm just doing it. I'm trying to be better and trying to quit hoarder, hoardering. But also, time's always an issue. More ideas than time is always my motto. So I'm just putting this wax on with a, uh, it's just bringing the wood out a little bit more. It's not really greening up this green as much as I hoped it would, but I just don't, don't think it's that much of a green. But just trying to protect it a little, seal it a little. Patricia, oh, a different Patricia has a lot of, it's not hoarding if it's awesome stuff. Agreed. Agreed. It's a collection. <laughs> it's a very cool collection. I have so many stashes. And I, and I get on a kick where I really, really, really try to work through them all. But then, you know, as Royce would know, we have so many back-end things we have to have to do. But it's hard to get to do this, this part of the business like we want to do. At least for me, and I know Royce has to be the same. It's just hard to. This is what I. If I could just go live and create with you guys 24 7, oh, that would be my jam. And work through my stashes. And then get to go buy more. So I don't, I don't even get to go shopping anymore. I have too much. Well, I might be going to Justin's tomorrow, but. <laughs> uh, I don't need to, but. Yeah, we got, I'm, I'm going to go see Justin real quick tomorrow. He's one of my, he's, he's right, the only place I go. Okay. I don't know if I've got that all hit, but I can touch that up on my own. And I don't think I'll do the out back side just because that's going to be one more time consuming thing to do on here that's you know like I said I'm in a rural area it's just not gonna be able to yield a higher price for me you know I hope that's making sense but I will have to put d-rings on the back I've kept the um I, I love to keep all the hardware on it that I can finally getting able to hold it up for you um but a pretty light green painted on the back would be pretty, or a white. 
that would really make the flowers pop. Uh, Justin is your evil, I know. He keeps sending me pictures. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Twist my arm. But anyway. Um, oh, I guess, Patricia, if you're really purchasing this, um, do you want it painted, the back painted? Do you want D-rings on the back? Um, but I will go ahead and put, um, I will put sealer on the back to make sure. I mean, I don't think it's going anywhere, but I don't know. You know, it looked really good on the back, but then these just are so dry and brittle. It's so old. They just kept popping out. So I want to put a clear caulking in there yet, just to make sure, just because I'd feel better. But anyway, for the hardware that stayed in, it's got that, that little hooky thing at the bottom and then these little things on the top. I kept those. But, like I said, it's kind of big to be able to show you the whole thing. Let me see if I can see any comments. You like the green? It came out pretty. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Sandy. You have D-rings. Okay. Thank you, Lori Cochran. Thank you, Daggy. You really am. No paint. Okay. Thank you, Royce. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Kelly Kelly. Thank you, Sarah. You wish you had a Justin there. Yeah, he's got, yeah, we've got some things to talk about tomorrow, so. Um, have you tested this for lead paint? I have not. If this has lead paint, how do you prep? I, I don't. I have, but I do think there's a test kit. Um, I have never, never done that. I, I, I'm terrible. If anybody's got a better suggestion, I've, I've never, never done anything special for it. I, I know there's, it, it probably honestly is, and I just sealed it in, so. Um, you should probably wear a mask anytime you sand. Um, I sand it outside, and I, I don't, I'm terrible. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Wear a mask. Um, test it. <laughs> you haven't made it to your desk this morning. That's what gets me is I do go to my desk and then I don't make it into here. Oh, uh, we've been spring cleaning. Temp oh yeah, okay. yeah. I have not sold any of my windows, but okay. Let me see. I think I kind of sort of caught up. Lori just seals the windows. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm bad at that. I just I just go with it. I just sand and seal. So if that if that's something that freaks you out, I probably wouldn't even do them. I, I'm just, I, I'm, yeah, I'm probably not the one to ask on that because I just, I'm bad. I'm really, really bad. I may pay for it someday. But, um, you did decorative painting and started painting on old windows. Thank you, Jeannie. Does Justin have windows? He does have some. He does have some. I feel like there are, um, several of the girls have gotten windows there. Um, and his prices are always good. Though they might be a little rough, you're definitely going to have to do some work to them. Probably. I think. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to them because I've, I've got too many windows. But You're going to have an original Tammy. You know it. Well, I'll be honored to have you have it, Patricia. So That's awesome. Okay. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try to sneak in a quick walk before lunch. I hope you have a fantabulous day, and thanks for hanging out with me. If I paint the back, would you seal that? Okay, I probably wouldn't. I mean, it just depends on what paint you use. I use um, Fusion Mineral Paint, so it's already got a built-in sealer. So if you're using a paint with a built-in sealer, you wouldn't have to seal it. Um, and I guess I... Just be in the back of a thing, I probably wouldn't worry about it. But yet, if it's something you're going to take up and down and it's going to be in a storage bin getting scratched up, then maybe you would want to seal it. You know, if you're using like a, a anything that doesn't have a top coat in it. So, does that help? Like I said, I, I use paint with a top coat already in it, so it doesn't need an extra sealer. So, if you're using something with a top coat already in it, it doesn't need an extra sealer. Does that make sense? But, you know, if you're using a chalk type paint, then you might want to seal it. I hope that helps. So, all right, you guys. 
Thank you, Royce. See y'all later. Bye.